Hey guys, welcome back to Overcast Season 3, Episode 3. So, today, I decided to start off with my pumpkin farm. Yup, I have a pumpkin farm. I didn't show much of it in the last episode, I'm sorry for that, but I decided to do some work on it. Since I owe someone 500 pumpkins for reasons I will not disclose. Little did I know at the moment, this pumpkin farm would be the start of my pumpkin empire. So after telling someone I planted more rows of pumpkins, it turns out he was watching me for I don't know how long, but it was creepy. And then this happened. I've been standing here for like I've I've been I've been I was standing there for like the past like two minutes and you haven't Gosh. noticed me like you like you looked directly next to me like five times and you didn't notice me. It's kind of funny. This is focused on my pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, I, I made a pumpkin out of it. I just decided to come over and pay a visit. Oh wait! Oh wow! I got a I got a sheep head. <laughs> this is interesting. This is a new look. Like your little, you, you should make like a. You can. You could literally make like a pumpkin throne out of these. My pumpkin throne. <laughs> this is great. <clears throat> so after building the pumpkin throne, I found some loiters near my base. So I decided to dispose of them. And then their captain came falling out of a tree. So after disposing to loiters, it was a close call. Uh, Jag was confused as what's going on, so I told him, uh, they are raiding my pumpkins. I mean, they're close enough, so it's not a lie, right? They, they, they were close enough. So, then after disposing of the loiters, Jag offered to help me with the raid. I was like, oh, thank you, that's really helpful. Then conveniently, his Wi-Fi goes out for the entire thing. So I gotta put my villagers in safety, and then I had to do a raid by myself. This is what caused me to lose everything. So, I after embarrassingly missing a vindicator that was standing mostly still for a lot of the time i went on with the raid i thought it was going well mostly it seemed to be good so far i killed off some pillagers i was being a coward i hid behind a golem I mean, they would have killed me if I didn't, so I killed some pillagers, hid behind the golem, and then I decided to put it into a time lapse with the sound in, and it sounded like some kind of weird carnival music. So after finding out that the last pillager was a trapped witch, I took a screenshot, it poisoned me, gave me slowness, and I decided to wait a bit to see if Jag would come back. After realizing Jag's not coming back, I decided to kill the witch, so yeah. Oh my gosh. It's all from one witch. So after killing the witch, I decided to go on with the raid. And when I saw that iron on the ground, I knew 
I was screwed. That's what started it all. The death of the last golem. So now, I'd like you to enjoy my torture. Me punching through a few pillagers, five vindicators, and an evoker riding a ravenger. Most of it all with my fist. <laughs> and then losing all my stuff. I hope you enjoy. So finally, after killing all of that, I went on to collect what was left of my loot, then found out there's more Vindicators. So I went on, killed those two. When the final Vindicator fell, I went back to the house and looked at my inventory, contemplating my life choices. And then I looked in chat. It was a mess. So, uh, after I horribly- oh, no, I should not take damage, I got nothing. After horribly failing that raid, I decided to put my stuff in the chest, I'm gonna go see what's in this cave over here. Uh, maybe I can find some useful loot. Okay, there's some creepers there, and then, uh, some glow squid, maybe there could be some useful stuff in the waterfall. Oh, shoot, you're not useful stuff. You are not useful stuff. Stay away from me. Wait, is that a Wait, were those bricks? What is that? I need to find out. <laughs> 